17 of the year. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A drive there of just four plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Cowboy offense heading out. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. And it's all come down to this, hasn't it? Final week of the regular season. As this year's playoffs play out anything like the regular season has gone, could be in for a wild and fun month of January. And we can break the rules because we can look ahead. All right, there's not a coach out there that's ever said to their team, all right, let's look three, three weeks down the road. It's always right here, right now. Forget that. Think about what the playoffs are going to look like. The teams that we see that are already in, the teams that are trying to get in, we could have some great matchups. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Prescott from the gun. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the rookie, Xavier McKinney. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. Prescott. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance. He's helping his team in a huge way. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. A gain of five brings up second. On down. second down, here's Barkley. And here he'll get it down to the seven. For a giant seven, seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They'll run with Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Giants have taken the lead. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive, four plays, and it ends with a Saquon Barkley touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Now Dak Prescott of the offense heading back onto the field. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. 
And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. It's third down. On third down, it's Prescott. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And there shouldn't be any surprise at all when we watch him flash his arm. Easy motion, easy action, and that ball flies downfield. On the return is Pettis. It's a 39-yard punt, eight on the return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley, and we get a glance here, Charles, at his two touchdown runs. And, partner, have you ever noticed that when someone scores a second time, they have a little bit of extra pep in their step? It's always, you know, they're always fired up to score. But when you get in twice, it's almost like they're thinking, this could be the start of something really big. Then you want number three, right? Oh, without a doubt. Go get it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A lot of running backs, a little bit of a disadvantage when you start talking MVP. Might not be the case this year. You think he's got a shot, don't you? I do. I think he's got more than a shot. But what he's going to need here down the stretch this late in the season, he needs that big closing game, that game that we're all going to reflect on and go, oh, my goodness, did he put up a number, let's say 200-plus? They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. On the handoff. Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. On play action, they'll throw. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve, and that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. That's complete to Slayton. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Catch made by Slayton. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Barkley. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Six. Brings up second and four. They'll drop to throw. He'll be hit and taken down at the job sack number 12 for him on the year. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. There are a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Finds his tight end, Ingram. The pass. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. That's a good looking play to me. The big tight end on a crossing route coming underneath. Sometimes he can gain some serious momentum going forward, can he? Yeah, he can indeed, and pretty well executed there. On 
fourth down on is Graham Gano for the Giants field goal. A 31-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. Cowboys 7. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. But kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complementary football, because as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has held them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system, so they can play to the standards of the defense and the win column will result. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Elliott. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 16 yards, a first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Prescott got his man there complete to Gallup. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. And incomplete. He tried to leave it underneath, nearly got picked. He may be lucky to have that one back. Third down. Prescott connects here with a tight end Blake Jarwin and he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion give him 10 there good enough for a Cowboy first down the goal for any offense versus his own defense find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it they did it well there perfectly executed crossing route from the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll throw again. Prescott over the middle. Amari Cooper, it's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's Elliott. And yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Give him two yards on the game there, and it will take us to the end of quarter number one. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They'll run it with Elliott. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as he'll wind up going backwards. Ezekiel Elliott not able to get it past the marker. And the Giants are going to get the football back.
Brandon, let's file this play away for later. Let's note this play because, to me, it's not out of the question that the decision to pass up the three there could come back to haunt them later on. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Barkley, the ball carrier. The tackle made by Jalen Smith. A gain of two. Brings up six. Here's second and eight. At the 30-yard line. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. First and ten. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Let's see who's faster. to throw now on first down. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Brings up third and Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. And just held on to the football too long there, Charles. That's point blank, right? Yeah, I agree with that totally. You've got to have that internal clock that goes in your head that says either get rid of the football or flush and go and use your legs and try and pick up the first down. I think he hung in there too long, and the blitz got to him. Now Riley Dixon on. He did his collegiate kicking upstate at Syracuse. This is taken at about the 14. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? <laughs> That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but it up. But he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it, be aggressive, because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. And we'll see what his offense can do. The throw on the quick slant, going to be complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. And in week 17, let's hope this won't affect him for the playoffs. We'll step aside. A first down carry by Elliott. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Cowboy ball carrier. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Prescott. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number, not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan to try and chip away at his timing. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down, and he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He'll boot it away from about his 35. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. The Giants take over first and 10. 
at their own 25. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep everybody here. <laughs> Let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. That catch good for only a couple. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Brings up second down at the 17-yard line. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Sets up a third down and 18. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, trying to fit it into Shepard, but it's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And it's a terrific return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. Third and long that time, he was trying to make something happen, but a little too risky. Well, the field tilted on him, and what I mean by that is what you said. Third and long, got to push it downfield to try and pick up the first down. Defensive backs live for this situation, and they took advantage of the young man right there. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Now Elliott. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line, knocking on the door. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. Well, he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. From the two now, second and goal. Prescott now, and he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line, Lorenzo Carter in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. This will be caught just inside the 10. Prescott's pass. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Complete. Two Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. Cowboys trot out Greg Zerline. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. Zerline's kick is up and through. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. Cowboys 10. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. That one good for 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. It's second and inches at the 35-yard line. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. This is Barkley. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here 
Now it's Barkley. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And Ingram holds it in. That's good. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route. But he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction. I was able to track the ball in another. Field stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. The pass. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. It's now second and six. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Leighton Van Der Esch on the tackle. A gain of a yard on the play. Brings up third and four. Looking to throw. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackling. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now Elliott. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Julian Love, two yards on the play. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Blake Martinez, second in the league in tackles last year, gets another there. Gain on the play, second and ten at the 31-yard line. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Blitz coming and down he goes. Lorenzo Carter has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. That's three sacks now. That's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Prescott from the gun. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. Prescott. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down. They just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, Jones, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 154 left on the clock here in quarter number two. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. 
Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Catch made by Slayton. The pass, three yards the gain there, second down. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 42. First and 10 at the 42. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Back to throw now on first down. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Behind the line of scrimmage. They'll look to throw again. Finds his tight end, Ingram. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. A gain of seven. It's fourth down. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, this from 53. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you as always. Welcome into our final regular season edition of our Halftime Report. Playoff lives hanging in the balance as we take you around the NFL one final time. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And it's the visitors who are out in front in the second quarter, Terry McLaurin, a good game there. Next, we head off to check out another game. And in that one, it's the visiting Dolphins who are out in front. Preston Williams, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they've gone to the half in that one with the visiting Saints out on top. The veteran, Drew Brees, with a touchdown pass. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of Week 17 is underway. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 26. Now come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it gonna take? 
to get back on track. Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Now we've got a giant player here slow to get up after that last play. And in week 17, let's hope this won't affect him for the playoffs. We'll step aside. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Tackle made at the 38-yard line. A gain of seven. They'll run with Elliott. Strong run, but he's corralled just beyond the 40. Prescott with the, the tackle made there by Kyler Fackrell. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on four. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do. But I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Second and five. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. There'll be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's complete to Slayton. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Complete to Darius Slayton. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. A short throw to Ingram. And he'll get it down here to the 43. First and 10 at the 43 yard line. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A first down carry for Barkley. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. He was trying to clear the way, the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hold. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. And very little there. He might have got a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. By Jalen Smith. A gain of a yard. Brings Second and nine now. At the four. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 30. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll look to throw here on first down. His throw caught right around the six. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. 
And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley with touchdown number three here in this game and 17 now on the year. And the Giants add on to their lead. And the lead will grow by one more. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley. touchdown here to kick it away this is Tony Pollard and he takes this near the 25 just a little pass there call it the 26 take over first and 10 at their own 20 the Dallas offense back out onto the field these guys had to punt their last possession and that's become too familiar of a refrain too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere but you know how in baseball when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm a lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm he might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting Personal foul roughing the passer defense what happened well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. Elliott again. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. After allowing that last score, the defense knows they've got to tighten things up. Otherwise, they'll let them right back into the game. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. Five plays good. there on that drive. The and it culminates in a Dallas seven. touchdown. Cowboys 17. Greg Zerline. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. 
This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. Here's a second and seven. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Tate. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 11 yards there. First down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Shepard, incomplete. It leads to second and ten. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 35. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. So pin that one on the rookie right tackle. Remember those days when the right side was simply the run blocking side? Now you're dealing with some of the better pass rushers in the league. It'll make you a little jittery. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Brought down at the 35-yard line. A five-yard gain. Brings up second and 10. Back to throw now on second and 10. Going right side here, and that's complete. complete. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Brings up third and three. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick, and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. That pick hurts a little extra because it was third down. You were already in field goal range. You know what he's going to hear all night, all next week? Situational football. Understand what's going on because you expressed it perfectly. Three points were in their hip pocket. They had those. Now those went by the wayside. You cannot make those kind of mistakes. It's what you call a rookie mistake. They'll start the drive with Elliott. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. This to Jarwin. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Complete. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Nine yards. First down, Dallas. Here's Prescott. Got his man there complete to Gallup. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. At their 48-yard line. Looking to throw. Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First down, Cowboys. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. With the give to Ezekiel Elliott. Taken down at the 41. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Pass. Complete to C.D. Lamb. They were in zone defensively, it's went with a crossing route. Yards. It's always interesting to watch and that and chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they look their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. 
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Line of scrimmage, the nine. Second and about a yard. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Tomlinson on the tackle. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Prescott's pass. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. A so place like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. 29-yard attempt. And Zerline's kick is good. The kick. And this is back down to a seven-point game. The score, Giants 27, Cowboys 20. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. First and 10 at their own 23. As the Giants head back out there, let's take a look at the playoff picture in the NFC. Well, we do know, Charles, they will be in the playoffs. They currently sit at pole position number one, but nothing set in stone right now. They still have to earn that top spot. And it makes me reflect back to preseason when you and I do our tours of camps. The prevailing message in each and every one of them was what? Win the division. Win the division. Win the division. You know you're in the playoffs. It means something. It might be, it means a home game. It means a number of other things. But winning the division is paramount. You're right. They won't step off the gas here. The play began back at the 23, and they pick up 23. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now Saquon Barkley, and he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. On a solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. They'll run it again with Barkley, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And now it looks like we've got a Cowboy shaken up down there on the field. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. The Giants on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And he fires one, but incomplete. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. Saquon Barkley denied on fourth down. And the Cowboys defense is going to get him the football back. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. He'll drop to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. 
Prescott. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Ezekiel Elliott. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards there and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Dalvin Tomlinson breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. And in week 17, let's hope this won't affect him for the playoffs. We'll step aside. The Cowboys on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Ezekiel a loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They hand off to their big tight end. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it. But in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. And he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. He's sacked. Dexter Lawrence in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott got his man complete over the middle. It's Elliott. Prescott's pass complete to Ezekiel Elliott. A nine-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Throwing, Prescott. Toward the end zone, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. They don't get the hook up there, but you really have to marvel at how precise he's been throwing the football these last couple of weeks. Oh, that's a perfect word for it, precise, because if you're at 70% or better two weeks in a row, you have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it's not just West Coast offense either. He's putting the ball downfield as well. That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. Yeah, the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. Yard line. A four-yard gain. Brings up second and They'll try again with Elliott. 
And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. The Cowboy ball here. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Third and goal. And keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. Now Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Prescott's pass complete. Blake Jarwin with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Zerline now for the PAT. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it's capped off.